All right, so today is Sunday. I just finished my workout. Um, I tried to actually film some of it today because there was no one in the gym and also I was like, hey, let's do something different. But our gym has actually been closed for a few days because of some water damage from a broken um, pipe that happened on the second floor and the gym is on the first floor so it flooded through. So I felt like extra energized because I had a few days off, um, like four days off and I've been working out normally like six days a week, sometimes five. So I was just like, itching to get back at the gym. Oops, <laughs> dropped you there. I went on the treadmill and I did what I normally do, which is the um, Lauren Geraldo um, 12330, where you're at an incline of 12 at a speed of three for 30 minutes. But what I normally do too is then I do another uh, one and a half miles because that's how much you get done in that time. But I do it at a speed of four, um, so you're going a little bit faster, but lower inclines. So I switch between four to eight, and then I go back to an incline of four for an easy one at the end. But I was really feeling it, so then I did another 12 free 30. So, yeah. And then I did some arms. My arms are really sore, even just holding this camera up, so I know tomorrow's going to be bad. Um, but yes. And then um, that's it. So I filmed a little bit of that, and for those arm things... For the, uh, I don't know what they're called, I'm horrible, but the first one I did with the rope, um, I did that. For that one, I did four rounds of it. For the other one, I did three rounds of all of that. But today is going to be a little productive Sunday, so I thought I would take you guys along with me and just show you guys what I'm doing. So one of the things on the list is um, when I went and did that vintage haul a few videos ago, my roommate actually got a really cool jacket, so I sewed on the button that was in the pocket that... Um, that was that needed to be sewed on but there's some stitching underneath the um, armpit of the jacket that needs to be fixed so I'm gonna work on that today because it's kind of fun but also because you know I'm just gonna add it to my productive day do it on the weekend so I don't have to worry about it during the week but then I'm also going to do my laundry I'm gonna tidy up my room do a little bit of client work to prepare myself for the week so I have a little bit less to do during the week I'm hopefully gonna start editing a vlog that I did last weekend so that I can post that tomorrow, Tuesday or Wednesday. And then I'm also going to do something exciting, a little Shopo haul. So Shopo is actually this brand boutique um, store in Australia that I knew about in high school. I had gotten a few, I had gotten like two items from them in high school and it was something I really loved. And I needed to get a bridesmaid dress for one of my friend's wedding. The theme is like gold and sparkly and some other things and I'll kind of show you more of that when we get closer to the wedding. But I had to get that dress and so I got that and a few more items so I could get free shipping. So I thought I would just show you guys on this vlog since it's definitely not enough to do a whole video about. But I thought you guys might be interested so I'll show you guys that, do a little try on haul. But besides that, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my meals and I think I'm gonna make my meals, I'm gonna like, gonna make a little bit extra for each one of them so that I have a little bit of a meal prep to start my week. So that just means less meals I have to cook during my work week and for those times during the week where I actually don't have time to cook so it's a little bit easier for me. Yes, that is the plan.
All right, so this is the coat he got. It does have a few stains, but it is a nice coat. And it looks really good on him. It fits him like pretty perfectly. And so I sewed on this button yesterday. And what I'm gonna try to fix today is you can see that the under sleeve is loose or pretty non-existent thread-wise. And then I think it's fine on this side. Oh, it's a little loose right in here, but it's less than the other side. So I'm gonna work on these. But yes. So something I love about sewing is it's an easy way to be able to make slight alterations to clothing that maybe doesn't fit you perfectly. I'm someone who, a lot of the times clothes don't fit me absolutely perfectly um, just because of my body shape and sometimes, sometimes sewing is the quick fix that you need, whether it be that you need to make a tight, um, make straps tighter on a top, whether you need to fix a hole because you got clothing that um, you realize wasn't as good a quality as you thought because you ordered online. But whatever it is, just knowing the basics of sewing is like pretty helpful, pretty useful. Definitely recommend it to anyone, guy, girl, non-conforming gender, whoever you are. It's very helpful. But sewing also is something that uh, the basics were taught to me by my grandmother on my dad's side. and. We were really close and it's something that reminds me of her. She taught me how to do the basics of sewing. She taught me to crochet and to knit and just doing these things um, reminds me of her. And it's definitely something I'm gonna share with my kids, my grandkids. It's just knowing the basics of some of this stuff is just very helpful. Yes, I'm just um, sewing. Um, Chris got a jacket from a thrift store a few weeks ago and it had a, um, a hole basically in it. So I made some oatmeal with chia seeds, protein powder, frozen blueberries, and then just a hash brown patty. And these are the um, harvest apples from Trader Joe's. They're supposed to taste like caramel apples, which is pretty yummy. So, yes.
All right, so now I'm gonna show you um, a little Chopo haul like I was talking about earlier. Just three things, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to include it in here. So the first thing, everything will be linked down below and I will be trying everything on so you can see it in a try on clip. But here is the first dress. I absolutely love it. It is a long dress and I really like the detailing at the top. It looks nice on the boobies. Um, I love the beading. I like how there is also the beautiful white detail on it. But it is long. And at the end, you can see it has even more pretty beading. So I'm hoping when I get it altered, because I am 5'2 and 3 quarters, um, I round up to 5'3, uh, I'm hoping I can figure out a way to do it so I'm not taking out too much of the bottom because it's so pretty, but I'm willing to wear heels so that um, the bottom can be seen. <laughs> So the next two things I got are bodysuits and they are the same one in different colors. It is by the brand Love A Lot. It's a size Australian 10. Oh, and that dress was an Australian, I don't know. It is a US 8. I was going to get it a 6, which would have fit better. I'm going to have to get this one altered, but that was sold out. And I'm really glad I got the 8 because now it's sold out in all sizes and I love the dress. Like this is a dress I'm going to wear. Um, after the event for other things for costumes um, maybe a New Year's Eve fancy event I love it so and so this one is a US 6 which is what I should have got that one in if it hadn't been sold out but you can see it's a white long sleeve bodysuit I like how it is thicker um, and it's not um, like a soft fabric -y material it's more of a shiny um, more stretchy material which I like better for bodysuits because I think it's more flattering and it is a buckle at the bottom type which is very useful in bodysuit bodysuit <laughs> bodysuit um, but I like it because black and white um, bodysuits are very helpful um, when you're trying to just elevate whatever pants or skirt or shorts you're wearing um, it's just simple it's sleek and then it really is a nice calm accent to whatever you're wearing on bottom. I was looking because there's a few times where I wanted to wear like a long sleeve white or black shirt and I didn't really have any I really liked and instead of getting shirts I got bodysuits because I thought it would be a little cuter, a little dressier. But the black one is the same as well. And I like how they both have the tie detail cinch here. So you can keep it loose or you could tighten it more to show more of the boobies um, and just make it a little bit different of a look. I'll show that in the try on. But yes, that's my quick haul. So I thought I'd do a quick little haul of recent, um, of my recent Ulta trip as well. But I got this conditioner. I got this in a bigger size. I've had this in a smaller size and I really liked it. Um, but this is a good face wash for acne. Um, I got this, which I only got, this is, too expensive for me in my mind for a moisturizer but now it's bad because I really enjoyed it and I'm hooked and I got this with points from the Ulta membership so I didn't have to actually pay for it and now I'm afraid that they got me hooked and I may have to actually buy it myself I got I got this face wash it was on um, Hiram um, the skincare Hiram who does skincare videos on YouTube he suggested this for acne 
And so I got this one. And then I got this because I just love how um, tea treatment feels on your scalp. So I got this. And then I got a refill of this. I'm not opening it yet because I'm not done with the other, but I'm almost out. So I got this. I got this one for free with the rewards as well too. And I'm telling you, don't get this. It's a, it's a scam. It doesn't do anything. I regret getting this. Do not get this. And then I got this to replace the Versed um, cleansing balm that I had. And this one's more affordable, so I wanted to try it out. I'll let you know how it compares. But I will say this one doesn't say it's a vegan. So that is one thing to keep in mind. And Versed is vegan. And the last thing I got is... Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt, Relax and Relief. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm excited, gonna have a bubble bath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so for dinner, I did a grilled cheese with a um, non-dairy cheese, and then I added a uh, mashed chickpea spread in there um, and some onion, and then I put some figs on here, and then I made some shishito peppers with lime juice and salt, and of course, a kombucha in a wine glass, because yes. <laughs> 